is Scott Kleiss, Director of Information Technology here at VMRC. Today we're going to talk about how to submit a help desk ticket using SysAid. As you can see here on the desktop is the SysAid icon and you can simply double click that and the end user will, portal will open up for you. But I'm going to close that. There's another way you can open it as well and that's by pressing F11. And the reason for that is you may have an application open working on a very complicated Excel spreadsheet. And while you're working, an error pops up. Scott, this is Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft. Clearly, you shouldn't be operating a computer. Please give your IT help desk this error code. Well, you don't want to have to write down the error code or anything, so you can just press F11, as I just did, and the end user portal will pop up for you. And in this case, we're going to submit an incident. An incident is a problem, something technical that happens that ke is keeping you from using your current functionality. Your other option is to submit a request. And a request is to add uh, functionality or give you something that you currently don't have that would be helpful, but it's not something that you already had and broke. So most time uh, you're going to submit a incident. As you can see, it's self-populated as the requesting user, and my contact information is here. But in a lot of cases, you may be submitting a request for someone else. Let's say their computer completely dies and they can't launch uh, SysAid to submit their ticket, so you have them launch it for you. So in this case, I could launch a ticket for Sean. And you see if you start uh, typing, it goes in all by itself and you can see that his contact information is there as well. Now if there isn't contact information populated then please put it down here in the detailed description. So at this time we're going to uh, select what the problem is in the form of categories. Your first option you'll see a list of options here and in this case it's a software problem uh, because I was working in Excel but it could be nurse call, it could be the finance software, it could be your telephone, it could be a workstation problem hardware problem. Let's click software and for each category you'll have a subcategory that will drill down a little deeper. In this case it was Microsoft. And then my third category I got an error message. Now your issue is just a place to put a brief description. <clears throat> I can just type in error received and then down here I can get a little bit more uh, detailed in my description. I was work, working and this error popped up. Call me Scott and then I'll put in my number assuming it's already not listed up here. Now urgency you need to select how urgent is it. Uh, very seldom will anyone click urgent. Urgent means it's an emergency. I need attention right now. If it's after hours, I need somebody to come on site and fix it. But if it is, please select it. If not, just select what you think it is. Now impact is another important tool for us to prioritize calls. And in this case, you'll just decide, is, are all systems down? Is just my system down? Is everything just slow or is it just generally uh, a low impact on my uh, uh, ability to continue my work? In this case, just my system is down. And you'll see the screenshot right here. To attach it, we click here and then we click Submit. Now we have launched the service ticket and an IT representative will be contacting you. Thank you.